Hi everyone, I'm Andron Victorian and today is a great day! I mean, almost every day is a great day, but today is a very special day! And why, you may say? Well, basically because I'm gonna start taking this instrument seriously! If you have been following me for a while, you know that I love playing acoustic guitar, but to be honest, I'm not very good at acoustic guitar! <laughs> I mean, and it makes sense, I play almost exclusively electric guitar, 7-string guitar, but you know, electric guitar, I started playing electric guitar, so I've never really taken the time to work on acoustic guitar exclusively, and of course, there's some skills and knowledge that you can transfer from electric guitar to acoustic guitar, but in the end, let's face it, it's another instrument, so if you want it to sound great, then you have to spend some time with it and work. And the great thing is that it starts today! So, okay, I'm gonna work on acoustic guitar, but what am I really gonna do? Well, I count myself super lucky to have a great friend, Miguel Rivera, who's just an amazing guitar player when it comes to percussive guitar and acoustic guitar in general. And it so happens that a while back, he sent me his method on percussive guitar, so I have it right here, this one. And uh, so I never really took the time to properly dive into it, and uh, what I plan on doing now is spend 30 minutes every day and just go through the method and see how it goes. I chose to do 30 minute sessions because if you want to improve on something, it's very important to do it at least a little bit every day. And so 30 minutes a day, it's short enough so that I can easily find time in a day to schedule my acoustic work session. And at the end of the week, well, three hours and a half is already a good amount of time when it comes to, you know, learning a new skill. So I'm pretty confident that it's going to work out fine, but um, yeah, let's see how it goes. And just so you know where I'm starting from and where I'm at at the beginning of this journey, well, I'm the kind of guitar player who, when it comes to the acoustic guitar, I have a fairly limited amount of things that I can do, and I'm, well, constantly doing the same thing when it comes to arrangements and stuff like that. And so, yeah, basically when I grab an acoustic guitar, I'm always playing Isn't She Lovely in A minor, because, well, if I have to sing, it's better to have it in A minor than C sharp minor. I'm not Stevie Wonder. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I'm going to play it for you guys now so that you, you know, basically see where I'm coming from and then we will see where I end up. So today is January 17th, 2021, yesterday I recorded the beginning of the video and so usually because it takes the brain around, well it's, you know, very approximative and uh, it depends on everybody but it takes between 20 and 60 days to properly create a habit, um, I have to be pretty focused in these first uh, days and weeks um, but so, yeah, today I'm starting with the 30 minute sessions and uh, I'm starting at the beginning of the method.
2,000 years later. So thanks to the magic of video editing, we are now March 10th, and it's been roughly two months since I started this challenge. It's been 53 days since I started, and I'm super happy. Following Miguel's method has gone very well, and I have to say it's a very pleasing experience because, so I don't know if I said it two months ago or not, but there's three songs in the method and for each song you have three levels and so that breaks down each difficulty or each technical aspect that you need to learn in a very progressive thing so i really enjoyed that and i must say i also enjoyed the songs themselves so that's a cool thing to thrive towards because you are aiming at being able to play the cool leader song so that's motivating. And for those who don't like or don't want to read, there's a little video for each little section of the method with Miguel explaining and playing through the exercise. So that was very handy and uh, very useful. And another great thing is that, well, there are some techniques that may be tricky. At least uh, this thing was very tricky for me. So the pseudo kick drum on the guitar was very tricky and so um, on one of the videos I had to comment underneath so there are unlisted videos you get access to the videos through the method and you have the comment section just like in a normal YouTube video and that way I could reach out to Miguel ask my questions and he answered right away so that was super great and you get basically his feedback without having to take lessons. So that was another cool thing. As you saw at the beginning of the video, I already knew more or less how to do the snare sound on the guitar, except that I did it like this, instead of doing it as Miguel does it with the thumb. And so I adopted Miguel's technique, first of all, because I was following his method, and also because it made sense, because um, the way I did it, uh, I was constantly muting the strings, whereas with the thumb, you can let the higher strings ring if you so desire. So that was a little adjustment that you do in the first song. And because I already knew how to do it a little bit, the first song was sort of easy to do. I think in uh, one week or so, I got it down. But then the trickiest thing was to learn this motion so the kick drum and you learn it right away on the second song which is based basically around that technique and that happened to be the most challenging thing and so i went from spending a little bit more than a week on the first song to uh, maybe three weeks on just you know exercises for this sound um, so that was tricky, and of course, the third song is putting everything together and uh, all the techniques. Yeah, the third one was tricky also, but basically I got a rough idea of everything in a little bit more than a month, and uh, then I just took a little bit more time just to make sure that I have them, you know, I'm comfortable with the songs and uh, I can play them for you guys. And so without further ado, I'm going to play the three songs for you guys. Thank you. 
And there you have it. I'm super happy with the results that I got. And I must say, I wasn't expecting to be able to be pretty comfortable with the kicking technique. I mean, when I started learning it, it was, well, um, <laughs> pretty tricky and a little bit painful. Um, and now, yeah, I'm slowly applying it to stuff that I played before this two months of uh, learning. So, you know, my usual chord progressions where I first only used the snare. Now I'm slowly getting into adding the kick, which adds much more energy and uh, <laughs> then you want to put it everywhere. Yeah, I'm very happy to be able to now have this little tool that, of course, I have to improve on, but now I can use it. So that's a great thing. And again, if you want to see how these songs are properly played by the guy who has composed it and done this for years, well, check out the method right here. I'm not very flexible. Yeah, so feel free to check out uh, Miguel's method. And again, try it yourself, because with only half an hour a day, sometimes even less, you can do great things. And uh, once you start seeing results, it feels great. So really try it. <laughs> and that being said, thank you very much for watching. It's always a great pleasure to make videos for you guys. And as always, I've been Antoine Mitarian, and I will see you very, very soon.